welcome back to my battle map creation tutorials. Uh, I'm redoing my tutorials because of sound quality and I'm also breaking them down into smaller steps so you can watch them easier as we go along. The first thing we want to do is we're going to create our base template. Now this is a template uh, I use for all my battle maps and basically it has all my different layers of textures, um, you know, brick walls, uh, grass, dirt, you know, leaves, several different dirts. I got mud, I got waters, you know, sands. Um, and it just makes it a lot easier. You don't have to go out and get these every time or resize them every time. So what we're gonna do in this step is create basically this base file, um, though we're not gonna create all the layers. These are all layers I've collected over time as I've needed them. But if you start with a base, a two, uh, base template you can add you know your, the several layers you're going to need the most and then add it more as you want so first thing we want to do is create a new file you know file new or control n now for all my battle maps I create them as a size of 1750 by 1750 this on um, roll 20 is approximately 35 squares by 35 squares uh, which is a nice marker for me uh, size for me. You can create however big a map you want or however small you want. Next thing we want to do is we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call this grass. Okay. And we're going to go out to Google. Uh, Google is your friend for battle maps. You really want to get used to Google and stuff and stuff out there. So again, just type in Photoshop, texture, pattern, grass, or, you know, texture, pattern, grass, whatever you want um, to find different pat, uh, textures. Uh, here we've got, you know, what we're looking for is seamless textures. Here are two, but they look more like AstroTurf. So if you're making a, a football stadium or something like that, these would be perfect. But I'm making, you know, outdoor scenes, so I want something with a little dirt. So I'm going to grab this image and save it in my grass folder. As you can see, I've got lots of different textures and stuff that I've saved over time. And again, I collect these over and over. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a bit and collecting these uh, for years, some of these textures. So we go back to our template. We're going to open and open our grass image we just loaded. And to define a pattern, it's fairly easy. You've got your pattern. First thing, actually, sorry, let's, we want to check the pattern to see if it's actually a seamless pattern. Easiest way to do that. Otherwise, you know, you define the pattern, you paste it or you paint it down. You'll find all these artifacts in there and it's really not good. So here you go filter, other, and offset. And we shifted it by 300 by 300. That's usually my default size. Um, and what we're looking for is artifact lines. And right now we're not seeing anything. We see maybe a little bit right here, um, but nothing that really is noticeable. So I, I determined that that's basically a good pattern. So you go edit, go down to define pattern, and we're gonna go grass, tutorial and define that pattern Then we're going to go back to our template and go fill select fill foreground we actually want pattern and then we're going to select our pattern again here's all the different patterns I've had but this is the newest one we just added and then we're just going to fill that layer now you can see we're getting a little bit of artifacts here uh, which you start seeing you know you start seeing lines but when we zoom down in you really don't notice it you got a little bit here um, but the fact that we're going to be using multiple layers with hide and reveal masks and probably putting stuff over this, it's really not that bad. Um, and I, I think it's a perfectly good pattern to start with. Uh, so next thing we want to do, we're going to delete our background image and we're going to create a new layer and we're going to layer this one or call this one dirt. So again, we're going to go out to Google, Photoshop, texture, pattern, dirt, do your search and go down and there's a lot of nice ones this one's nice um, i think i have that one i have that one i, I have a lot of these um, but we're going to go with this one right now and we're going to save that image and we're going to save that under my dirt and obviously i've already saved it once we'll save it again we're going to go back to photoshop open and open our dirt image okay and then some control a and let's just real quickly check filter other offset and again it offset it and we're not seeing any artifacts so that's a very good thing um, 
you know, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll show you water. When we do water, I'll do a uh, one that we really isn't. Go down to Edit, Define Pattern, and we're going to call this Dirt Tutorial. You can call it whatever you want, obviously. Um, you know, I've got different types of dirts, rocky dirts, sand dirts, stuff like that. So we're going to go back to our base image. We're going to hide our layer, and we're going to select Pattern, and go select our image, and then we're going to fill it. Now, if you look at this compared to our grass, the dirt looks much larger. Um, you know, there, there, there's a piece of grass, you know, which is almost like a foot in length compared to the other stuff. So that really didn't work. So let's undo that or cut that back out. We're going to create a new image, Control N. And now usually I start with an image 6,000 by 6,000. Sometimes, depending upon the pattern, you may have to go larger. Basically, the more you want to shrink the pattern, the larger image you have to go. But usually 6,000 or 8,000 will uh, do most patterns. Um, again, we'll select our pattern, our dirt pattern, and then we're going to fill that. Now again, when you zoom in, it hasn't changed anything. What we're going to do is we're going to shrink this down um, for when we move it. So Control A, Control C to copy the layer. We're going to go back to our other layer and we're going to paste it. So again, it really hasn't changed. Um, what we want to do is zoom out and we're going to resize this now, Control T. As you can see, the image is much larger than our image area. So what we want to do now, if we resize this, you know, let's go it, it throws it way off screen. So what you want to do is go up here and click on the left-hand corner. That's going to resize it relative to this corner, which is nice. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure your width and height are locked. Um, otherwise, you'll get some uh, distortion of your image. So here's our 50% mark. So between there is about 25. So I'm actually going to go about 30, 32%. I'm still a little bit big, probably could have went 30 cent, but that's good enough. I'm going to hit enter, and that basically resizes that layer. And again, let's zoom in to 100% and just compare that. And that looks much better. Now, again, I want my dirt underneath my grass. Okay, and we're going to create a new layer. And this, we're going to create, we're going to call this water. Okay, and we're going to go back out to Photoshop. And now I'm just going to save this image as my water image. And I'm pretty sure I already got it. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to save. We're just going to grab another one as well. Um, it's a... Uh, there's some that really didn't... You know, like this guy, he sort of looks seamless. And he, I think he even says seamless. Um We'll save him, and do I already have him? Yeah, I already got him, so, okay. So we'll go here, we'll open that guy first, the bad one, uh, which was this guy. We'll define, and we'll go to filter, offset, and see how we're getting a line, an artifact here? Now that's fairly easy to clean up. You could easily clean this up um, by just doing some little smudging or some uh, stamping. You could probably clean that line up. But for our sake, I just wanted to show, you know, how, how you check to see if they're offsets. So we're going to go back to our other one. We're going to grab our other guy, which I believe was this one. Yep. Now you can see also, you know, it's got a little bit of batting. So this actually looks like it's, yeah, so this is a copyrighted image out there or something. But so, you again, you if it's personal use, I don't think it's an issue. Um, but you can easily find ones that are not. So if you define pattern, water tutorial, okay, then go back to our base template. We're going to hide our grass, and we're going to paste our water. Oops, forgot to select my water. So again, bucket, pattern, and we want our new water, which we just selected. And see, you can clearly see those watermarks, okay. But our waves, and... and seem a little big okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we just did with our dirt which is we're going to have our 6,000 by 6,000 image or create a new one uh, you can use the same one or create a new one and then just fill this with water okay so again copy 
Control A, Control C, copy that, and then go back to our main one. I'm going to delete that layer, create a new one for water, and actually, and then fill that with that. So if we can zoom back out and Control T, you can see again we've got too big of an image. So we're going to go left hand corner, anchor it, width and height. We're going to link, and then we're going to go again 35%. Okay, so now when we zoom into 100% and we say grass, dirt, and then water, that looks much better. And you can see, you can barely see those watermarks now. But again, you probably shouldn't be, you know, if you're selling something, you definitely want to be purchasing that or this. But since these are all for personal use and I don't charge anything for them, uh, I usually don't bother. Um, or I get other images. So here you want to add, and the reason we do this now is... This is our base template. You could save this and we're, we're good to go. But the, the reason we do this is because we want to add layer masks. So here's a layer reveal. You can also go layer, layer mask, reveal, but I've already got it. So then we're going to paint on that. And you can paint and adjust your flow of your brush. Now, I normally would do this in different with smaller brushes and stuff like that. But just for quick simplicity, I just want to sort of give the example. So then we're going to add another layer mask here and we'll just do that okay so when we zoom back in you got sort of a nice natural look of going from grass dirt to water and you know the only thing we're really missing here is uh shadow lines for contours and i'll be going into that uh, in one of my following tutorials so that's basically how you want to create your tutorial your base template again delete the layer masks and then we'll just you would just file save this as that and so now you have your three base layers which is you know grass dirt and water are the ones you use most but as you go as you collect more and more and do more and more maps you'll get a lot more different layers rocks and stuff like that so that's all for this tutorial next tutorial i'm going to go through how to create a seamless tutorial from a image that's not seamless thank you for watching